Okay, so I've cut four hinges from that piano hinge and I've put bolts in all of them. Not the right size bolts, but they're big enough that I can get a nut on them and a washer on the far side. We're not going to tighten it up super tight. And right now they're totally loose. But we're going to kind of shake this a little bit and pull it out this way. And that way it's in a free state. Everything's loose. We're going to go ahead and tighten up the outside here, uh, right there, and then we'll come in here and tighten these up, and then it'll all be in a relatively free state. I've dialed this down to, oh, just a couple of notches from its weakest ratcheting point, lowest torque, I guess I should say. This here entire pin. Well, maybe tighten it up a little bit. More. Okay, and then we'll put them down here. Get the outside here. Make sure it's still a relatively safe. Place. Now, the reason you do this is because. Before you cover these with fabric, you want to make sure that everything fits just right. The hinge moves and gives you enough movement because you don't want to be pulling fabric off. You put that on. And incidentally, this is the top of the um, stabilizer and elevator. The bolts will go down through it. It was just easier for me to do it this way. Yeah, normally the heads, the heads will be on top. You always want to go with gravity. Okay. So. Go ahead and see how all this here moves. Well, I don't feel any resistance at all. See, you get you get one of these a little bit twisted one way or the other, and, uh, and then it'll try to bow as it goes through the center here. Now let me get my protractor. Let's see what we got. Angularity, angular tization. <clears throat> oh, I just zeroed it. There we go. So 180 to 152, so I got 28 degrees. Is that right? Sounds right. Yeah. It's about 28 degrees of movement. Well, that's plenty of movement, and uh, I was hoping for at least 26 degrees. That's 28. It's more than I expected. I should have measured that a few more places, and I will once I shut this off. And uh, but this is this principle is dry, called dry fitting. You want to dry fit everything before you go to the next step, such as covering. So this here, uh, the um, stabilizer, I can cover. I've already got it varnished and or lacquered and everything. 
And that there needs, I'm gonna put T88, just cap these with T88, real thin layer. And, uh, and then I'll lacquer the entire elevator and then I'll, I can cover it. But right now I'll go ahead and start covering, start covering the uh, stabilizer and do a video on that.